Hey yo, what's up? Uh, Mirren here. I just finished watching Scott Pilgrim vs. the World, directed by Edgar Wright and based on the comic books by Brian Lee O'Malley, starring uh, Michael Sarah, Mary Elizabeth Winstead, and Ellen Wong. And I mean, man, I've, I hadn't seen this before. This was really fun. Um, it follows the story of 22-year-old Scott Pilgrim, who, after dumping a high school he's tw he's like 22 after dumping a high schooler uh starts to date the another girl and he has to fight through all of her evil exes seven of them to win her heart or whatever um and there's a lot of punching and action and it's all done in a comic book in video game you know what the it's scott pilgrim versus the world if you're looking at a review for this you probably somewhat know what it is i guess i don't know uh this is a movie that tanked at the box office but it's like a huge cult classic and i had not seen it before and i think this is the first edgar wright movie i've seen and it was awesome man it's it's totally unique it's totally different there's nothing else like it um i think it came out in like 2010 and it totally shows just not only is Obviously, you know, it looks like a movie that came out in the 2010s, just the way everyone looks, which is cool, even though that's only, like, 12 years ago. I, it's, like, that period of time is, is I think, we're like, far enough past it that we can now explore it in fiction. We can do that. But obviously, you know, the style of this movie, it's super, you know, all full of crazy editing and, and text on the screen and effects and the way it, it homages video games. You know, it's doing an homage to a very specific type of video game. It's doing an homage to, like, your, like, Mortal Kombat's and your other, like, weird JRPGs from, you know, around that time period. And it's awesome, man. Like, I think it's the only video game sort of inspired movie I've seen that just does such a great job. You know, it's 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 hilarious to be able to laugh at all of these, like, stupid one-liners. Like, you, you stole my boyfriend and now taste my steel. Like, just dumb shit like that it's like totally like oh yeah i would totally see that in a video it's awesome you know it's it's like normally i'd bring up what it's about and thematically and um you know i heard someone once say that um like it's it's portrayal and what it's sort of saying on relationships is only good for people who are like below the age of 18 and i totally agree with that you know i think thematically this movie's really not that complicated or deep uh, but conveniently, I'm 16, so I freaking loved it. Uh, it was super funny. It's so confident. It is so smart and so funny in its uniqueness. Uh, the writing is just so tight. Um, the editing, it is so amazingly edited. I, I cannot comprehend. The use of visual effects is obviously amazing. You know, it's it's not super substantive. It's, it's maybe not a story where you're super interested in, you know, the, the complications of it, but it's presented with such a passion and a confidence, and, and it's so cool and fun that you're just right along with it the whole time. Um, Squaw Pilgrim vs. the World, go check it out if you haven't seen it before. It's totally worth it. I, ironically, I think it'd be a, a great... Uh, like date movie, I don't know. Uh, what? I'm tired. <laughs> but yeah, that was awesome. Yeah, give it um, eight point five out of ten. But like this movie doesn't need a rating, man. Just go watch it. All right, see ya. Bye bye.